Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. As you may know, recently Legend Darts had a release of the Eric Bristow Darts, but with the cocked finger etched into the barrels. And the cocked finger Harrow's Darts were previously a very popular dart in the past and uh, quite popular for collectors. And they often go for quite a crazy price. Uh, so I actually bought a set when the first came on sale uh, but I got the 22 gram, uh, the plain tungsten ring grip. Uh, they sold out that quick that um, obviously I wasn't quick enough. <laughs> so I had to wait quite a few weeks, but finally they've got more stock in. So I'm going to be reviewing these in this video, but also if I can find my old set of Harrow's cocked finger darts i'll do a little comparison with them so we can like compare and see if there's any difference so let's check them out so i'm reviewing the 22 gram version the 90 percent tungsten you can also get them in 24 gram and 26 gram in steel tip and also 22 gram in soft tip and the retail for 35 pounds 95. So as you can see, it comes in this cardboard packaging. Uh, you've got Eric Bristow on the front and obviously Union Jack. And there's kind of a, a police picture on there. Eric Bristow, Carafty Cockney, 1957 to 2018. Three years since we've lost Eric. A very sad day that was. And inside, we've got a little plastic uh, insert. It's got a slightly uh, velvety covering on it and the darts are fitted into a point protector and it looks like they come with short nylon stems and you've got the classic Eric Bristol standard shape crafty cockney flights. So that's fit with a black coated point and it's the Eric Bristow dart, so definitely the classic straight barrel ring grip dart, which I mentioned so many times, and the one that so many darts have been used by many players. You got a fairly flat ball nose, and it's a kind of a flat, wide ring grip. So you've got the grip almost the full length of the barrel, apart from the smooth section where the little cocked finger 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 logo is um probably a bit hard to see on here but i will take some very nice close-up pictures of it so you can see it a lot better but then above that it says 1957 2018 so kind of a tribute to a legend which obviously he is so there you go here's a more detailed close look the classic straight barrel ring grip dart doesn't get more classic than this. And it's just fitted with some short nylon stems and the very classic crafty cockney standard flights, well known them. That's it with the black coat 25 millimeter point. There's a slightly rounded bull nose, that's three millimeters. Then the bulk of the barrel is this flat ring grip with narrow grooves in between the rings, that's 31.2 millimeters. Then you've got the smooth section with the cocked finger logo, that's 6.4 millimeters. And then a couple of more rings of 5.8 millimeters. Then a small beveled section on the end of 1.2 millimeters. Length is 47.65 millimeters, width is 6.34 millimeters that's 22 grams exactly twenty two point zero four grams and twenty two point zero six grams full setup twenty four grams With nothing attached, the balance is a little towards the front. 
and with the supplied setup it moves slightly behind the center point and this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights So not an especially grippy dart, just kind of like low to low, medium, but um, there is a little bit of sharpness on the edges of the rings. I think that'll just wear off quite quickly though, so 3.5. Right, I'm going to do a comparison with my original Harrow's Bristol cocked finger darts, but first of all, I'm just going to weigh my originals. Now bear in mind, these will have had some wear. They're in decent condition, but like I say, they've had some wear and they've also got a bit of muck on, so they may be a bit heavier anyway. So that one is 22.49 grams. And I'm not sure whether the points are the same, but that one's 22.18 grams. And nearly 22.18 again. So these are a touch heavier. Right, I'll show you a close-up of both the darts together now. Alright, so here's the two barrels next to each other. I think the points on my old ones are a touch shorter. Uh, but dimensions, like I said, I'll put the proper full details up of both of them so you can see them at the end of this. But there you go, it's pretty much similar. Um, it looks as if the new ones have got a slightly different space in different sl uh, in the size of the rings and the grooves because as you can see the smooth section starts a little bit higher up on the uh, the new ones um let's see if i can get them lined up but if you look at the top of the dart as well the new one has a very thin uh smooth part at the top whereas the old one it's just more or less the same width as the ring so very slight difference but i think dimension wise it's all the same or near enough the same right then this so here's is a photograph of the logos of each barrel side by equipment. side and also as you can see in the middle bristol's grip now when you see on the logo the, uh, it looks like it's a left-handed player and obviously kind of bristol like is right-handed i am not really sure why the reason the logo the are left-handed but for me so the new one looks a little bit more detail and a little bit closer to his actual grip is, than the old one does the old one looks kind of a bit strange really like he's got a a very elongated yeah, thumb and a kind of a weird middle finger original. but there you go Logo. let me know what you think in the comments which it's one you one. think looks better and which one you prefer So here are the dimensions of both the old and the new Eric Bristow cocked finger darts. I'll let you peruse that as you want. So you can pause the video there if you need to. And here's the balance points side by side. As you can see the old one's slightly different. But I think it's because the old one is drilled out a little less from the rear. I think I need to get my eyes tested. <laughs> the board's starting to look a bit blurry. I don't know if it's just because my glasses are all scratched, but definitely need to get them sorted. Um, there's not a lot you can say about this dart really. I mean, it's your typical straight barrel ring grip style. Um, one that many beginners 
I'll probably find wax for them. Uh, it's not overly long and not too thick, maybe a little bit on the thin side for me personally, but just a good classic straight barrel ring grip. Um, I have put on the grip, it's, I can't remember, did I put 3.5 or 4.5? It's not massively grippy, but because it's new, the edges of the rings are a little bit sharp, so you can feel the edges, but I think that's gonna wear off uh, pretty quickly. So I'm trying the middle section now. Um, like I always say though, these straight barrel ring grip darts, they should work for all kinds. It just depends on whether it, it's something that suits you. Uh, from the middle, it's nicely balanced. But again, they often are these kind of barrels. And obviously you can't get more classic than the Eric Bristow straight barrel ring grip. I know he didn't actually come out with this design. There was darts like this before he was born. But it's the one that he's used. And it's the one that many people associate with being a Bristow dart. So I'll try gripping it right at the end of the barrel. Now, as you've seen in the picture of uh, Bristol's grip, he actually grips on the stem, but kind of rests his other finger on the barrel and on the point with the, the other finger. It seems to be kicking up high from the rear though for me. I know it's just the way I throw them but when I throw from the rear for some reason the dart seems to like do that uh, them three were a little bit better but like I say it's a straight barrel dart it's going to work for any kind of grip really and when you've got one that's weird like Bristow's <laughs> I can't even do it myself but it's something weird like that I think he rests that hand on the point and I think his thumb is on the stem and that finger just rests on the barrel but it just feels so weird. <laughs>
You know, is it a little bit ironic that Bristol had quite a unusual and kind of complicated grip and yet he used one of the most uncomplicated barrels. So there you go, go figure. Nice to catch another 180 on video, been a while. Um, so there you go, the classic Eric Bristol straight barrel ring grip dart. Uh, this time a new version with the cocked finger logo. Um, so a dart that should work for, for many styles. Uh, probably a nice one for beginners, but just a classic barrel basically. And I'll leave you with the pictures and I've put a couple of more pictures in the gallery at the end of my original uh, cocked finger darts. So that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. I enjoyed doing this one. It's always nice to get a classic dart out like this. So I'll see you on the next one. Happy darting.